A long time candy and ice cream shop on the peninsula is struggling to stay afloat, but the community seems to be coming to the rescue. KPI X5's Max Darrow has that story from Burlingame. Preston's. That's a chocolate buttercream. Has been Burlingame's spot for sweets and treats for 75 years. And for the past 24 years, Irene Preston. I'm here seven days a week. Has held the keys to the candy castle. <laughs> yeah, it is. What a business. <laughs> But business over the past two years hasn't been so sweet. The panda pandemic has really affected me quite drastically. She's behind on a lot of bills. I owe a lot of money, so it's been very difficult. A bitter pill to swallow, Preston realized she couldn't generate enough revenue to keep the lights on if she couldn't come up with a new recipe for business. And then she met Ben Lambright. I came in here around the holidays to uh, and just to buy ice cream. And Irene was talking with somebody else and said, he, I heard her over say that she really needed some help. Here he is five months later, helping Preston put together rescue boxes. It's their way to hopefully keep the candy shop afloat. I thought I'd be able to make Irene 500 extra bucks, maybe if we were lucky and put some cash in her bank account. Well, the rescue boxes have lived up to their name and then some. Irene and I have both sat here and cried more than once at the level of support we've seen. Since they started on March 30th. Packaged and sold about 350, and that's not counting the 100 orders I have to fulfill that I'm fulfilling right now. This high. They were also doing online business for the first time ever, selling a monthly subscription box in the hopes of stabilizing income and inventory. I want to say thank you very much. The boxes alone won't save Irene's business but they're helping her plan for Preston's to have a future. I'm ordering materials for Halloween and Christmas today. <laughs> her favorite part about owning a neighborhood candy shop. All the people. The reason why Preston's can push forward. Bye-bye. So far, they've shipped rescue boxes to customers in at least 35 states. They're hoping to get to all 50 sooner than later. In Burlingame, Max Darrow, KPIX 5.